ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट द क्यू आर कोड विद इन सी हैश डॉट नेट प्लेटफॉर्म द कंपाइलर विच वी आर यूजिंग इज द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल स्टूडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू गो टू फाइल न्यू एंड देन ऑन देन क्लिक ऑन प्रोजेक्ट click on we will see hash windows and windows forms application here we will change the name of the project you can write any other name of your own choice so we have written the project name as qr code underscore zero zero click ok now our working window has been opened this our working window we will go to now toolbox we will take one push button and drag it out here this is our push button we also need to take one picture box to show the qr code okay on it so picture box and this thing so this is our picture box to show any sort of image now we will double click on this push button and it will lead us to the callback of that particular push button but before going to um, the callback of this uh, push button one we will add the library or the class iron bar code okay so we will write using iron bar code and you can see the error error line red error line under the iron bar code now we will go to project we will add a reference and uh, here you can see we have our library iron bar code dot dll but this may be not uh, not be included in your pc okay again i am saying that you have to add it you have to download it from the google then you need to go to browse and then you can add it in the project if not if you are not able to do it comment down and i will answer in no time now uh, we will go to the push button uh, one underscore click and here we will write qr code writer this is our main class measure class and there is one function that is called as create create qr code this is our function qr code writer is the name of the class and dot create qr code is the function name and these parameters brackets are there in which we will enter certain parameters they may be more than two to three so first first parameter first parameter will be the string which you need to convert to qr code so so i have written hi how are you and now we will go towards the size that is 100 you can write 200 as well if you want 3 400 but the best size is 100 to show in the picture box okay now we will write qr code writer dot qr code correction level because we want to adjust the correction level of qr code so we will write qr error correction level qr code writer dot qr correction level dot medium you can write dot low dot medium okay dot high on the basis of this our function will perform which used to correct the errors okay now we will go to um, okay now again we need also need to save it inside one uh, png file or uh, image file so we will write dot save dot save as png is also one uh, method or function so you need to write dot save as png which is a extension of im image like gif bmp 
jpg so png is also one of the formats so here uh, we will also need to write where we want to save the file of qr code so here we are writing c colon h users dcs and this path in your pc may be different you where you want to store your file you need to write the link name of the file again name of the file dot png like here c colon h users dcs slash slash desktop dcs dcs desktop is my path the where i want to in desktop folder i want to store my and my qr dot png is the name of the file and dot png is the extension okay now first i will run it out to see that either file has been generated or not so here uh, we also need to write double slash okay why it is so because uh, double slash on, uh, is very necessary okay so here here yes we can write double slash my underscore qr dot png so run it out okay now this is my file now you can see that this is my file so picture box one dot image is equal to new bitmap new bitmap okay this is if, if you want to show certain image on picture box then you write picture box one dot image image is our function picture box one is our control is equal to new bitmap and you you should have to give the same link of the file where you have stored the file here okay and it will show the image in picture box one so now you can see that whenever we will press the push button our string data has been converted to the qr code so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe